biggest stories that uh, define our continent in this year, 2021. There are some stories and challenges that top the trends on social media during the course of this year. And there's only one person who can really break this down for us. It's Elizabeth Musa. Lizzie, morning to you. Happy New Year in advance. Well, I can say, Lizzie, for sure, that 2021 has been the year of challenges. challenges. Absolutely, Olisa Oluchi. Happy New Year in advance to you guys. So, um, one of the biggest trends which, of course, took the continent by storm, if I may say so myself, was Twitter's movement to Ghana. Because, you know, Africans, Nigerians, most especially, were wondering why Twitter decided to move to Ghana despite having, despite having their biggest market in Nigeria. They moved to Ghana. And this was in April 2021, this year. But according to the Twitter CEO at that time, it says that it was as a result of shared values which they share with Nigeria, which they share, shared with Ghana, pardon me. And according to them, they said some of these values were free speech, the online freedom, and the open internet. This mm. was in April 2021, and it was a big trend at the time, especially in Nigeria and yeah. Ghana. Well, Lizzie, I, re I remember that talk about Twitter HQ for Africa being taken to Ghana, and it sparked a lot of, you know, another Ghana-Nigeria online <laughs> rivalry beef, so to speak. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, it was it was a big moment. It was a big moment on the continent, it's really because it had it, it involved Nigeria's cousin, if I may mm. say so myself, which is Ghana. And you know, when it has to do with Nigeria, Twitter, Nigerians are very big on Twitter. So it was like, why did you guys move to Ghana when we are your biggest market? So this was a very big trend at the time, and um, it, it was something that people really had issues with but it was a good one it was a good one for twitter to actually think of africa mm. and then move their their social media platform to ghana at the time and one of the other biggest trends that we had this year was twitter's ban in nigeria now this oh. was on the 5th of june 2021 where the nigerian government officially put an indefinite ban on twitter and uh, restricted its operation in nigeria after the platform deleted tweets which appeared to incite violence according to twitter according to twitter at the time it says this tweet appeared to incite violence this tweet were made by the president of the country Mohamed Buhari, and uh, you know according to the Nigerian government result of the persistent use of the platform for activities which undermine nigeria's corporate existence but as of today it's interesting to know that Twitter is still banned, although Twitter users are still finding a way around using Twitter, but it's still banned in Nigeria at the moment. This was a very big trend because we know that Twitter is one platform that loads and loads of Nigerians use. You know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, these are platforms that loads of Nigerians use. So when this ban came, it was a big one. It was a big trend at the time. Uh, Olisa Oluchi, you want to say something? Yeah, we're still, we're still reeling from uh, the uh, Twitter ban mm -hmm. in Nigeria uh, because we, I'm sure the federal government, like Mohammed, has been one man, uh, clearly the Minister of Information of and course. Culture. <laughs> yeah, he's clearly made the headlines, the At news. the forefront of it all. I'm telling you, in terms of the conversations with Twitter, that they're having three-way discussions. There's Jack Dorsey on one hand, there's the federal government on one hand. Mm -hmm. There's also uh, Nigerians on the other hand, you know, about this Twitter ban. But it's still on. Uh, but I, people are still accessing Twitter via VPN. VPN became one of the biggest, you know, things in Nigeria in 2021. Still, yeah. mm -hmm. yes, um, Twitter users are still ac accessing um, Twitter via the use of VPN, but it's officially still banned in the country. Now, one of the biggest trends that we also noted this year was Facebook shut down in October. This was a very big moment for users of the platform because we know facebook is linked to instagram it's linked to um, whatsapp it was a very it was a defining moment and it shook the core of africans if i do say so myself it affected business it affected investment and this shutdown was just for six hours but despite the fact that it was just for six hours it caused lots of havoc just for that moment it was banned because at, at a point people thought it was an apocalypse i mean Oluchi, Olisa, I remember that at that time when we reported <laughs> this, you said you thought it was an apocalypse because it was, it was, it was crazy. I was, I kept on refreshing my phone at that time, refreshing, refreshing, and I couldn't even access um, my Instagram uh, platform. And I, I know Elizabeth, even at that time, business owners in Nigeria, some of my friends who had their businesses online and Instagram, 
it was almost a heart attack feeling for them. Uh, and it, I mean, it, six and it wasn't, hours. It wasn't just for Facebook. It affected Twitter, Facebook, um, Twitter um, uh, Instagram, and, uh, WhatsApp, WhatsApp, and WhatsApp, and Messenger, WhatsApp, Facebook yes. Messenger as well. Yes. So it, then people had to move to Telegram at that time. Yes. That yeah. was the first time I moved to Telegram. I was never on Telegram at that time. Really? Yes, mm -hmm. me too. I, I remember during that period, I, I also had to download Telegram. Man, so that you was, guys uh, are so 2013. We're not 2013. <laughs> it's just, there's just loads of platforms to use. Are you on TikTok? Are you? <laughs> uh, yeah, as you mentioned TikTok, uh, Liz, that also brings to mind that it looks like TikTok is the biggest social media platform for 2021, right? Would you agree? Um, Generation Z people. Generation Z. for the Gen Z, you know, mm -hmm. Gen Z <laughs> fellows, it's a big one. And the truth is, when these platforms come, you have to, you have to just move with the times even if you're not a gen z person if you're a millennial if you're of course an older person you have to move with the times and we have loads of people joining this platform because for tiktok when you're mm. on tiktok it gives you opportunity to grow you easily mm. grow on this platform and it also affects your other platforms mm. you know at the same time so if you're on tiktok and you have your followers growing and you are a content creator it it also helps your instagram account so you see many older people using this platform and that's why this year we've had loads of challenges trending mm. on these platforms moving over to instagram moving over to twitter at the same time and one of well, some of the challenges we noted this year was the crit challenge we noted the Amapiano piano challenge we noted so many challenges but let's focus on the crit challenge which was a very very dangerous challenge Ouch. i don't know how this challenge started about started exactly but <laughs> it's what it was terrible because you'd see people climbing crates, getting to the top, and not, you uh. know, you see people falling, like you can see on your screen. Onisa, why would I want to try a challenge like this? Uh, I mean, they, 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 you see why I'm... Tr <laughs> trust me, there were lots of bizarre challenges we saw this. I think we're going to look at the challenges much later, later. Uh, on the program. So, you are, Lizzie, I'm sure you might, perhaps you might join us uh, for that. So, we look of at course, the challenges of proper of, of 2021, uh, particularly that <laughs> one that they were climbing all those crates. crates. Thank you once Thank again, you Lizzie, so uh, when it comes to the trend waves for 2021. It's always a pleasure, Lisa Oluchi. Happy holidays. <laughs>